Canyon Tooth felt like rock bottom. Picturing it now. How come you never tell me about your mom? How come you always ask? Because I want to know. No, I don't want to know. Love your mom.
Franco kind of player. You look more like sisters. <laughs> you want an OJ? Oh, yes, please. Do you think she's so Waitresses have very good hearing, you know? Thank you for inquiring about between my legs. I'm sure, if you got to know me, you'd see that it's what's between my ears that's more interesting. Can I have a cup of coffee? Come right out. So, where y'all headed? Boston. Oh, Boston. 
I've never been there, but that's not too far from New York, is it? I've always wanted to move to New York and start a career on the stage. Of course, I'd love to see Grey Gardens live just once <laughs> with the great Christine Ebersole. You know Christine Ebersole? She came in here once. I met her, told her I loved her. She said, thank you. I said, no problem. <laughs> so, what can I get you to? Um, <clears throat> I want the French toast special. Oh, with fruit. Uh, the pancakes and eggs. Oh, and home fries. Oh, what about bacon? Yeah, bacon and two orders of sausage. And, oh, how about two of those muffins? You got it. You do the straight thing? You do it. No, you gotta go like that. Proud members of the <laughs> Queen Plate <Freight> Club. <laughs> I understand you two ladies enjoyed our blueberry muffins. They have a lot of blueberries. Well, that's appropriately named, I think. You know, Pam, wrap up a couple of blueberry muffins for these ladies to take with them, okay? On the house, of course. Thank you. Of course. Here, take your time with this, no rush. What would you expect me to do? I don't know if you've ever been hungry. I don't know what to do anymore except keep running. But we can't because our car broke down. And we have nothing. I mean, you, you, you can go ahead and call the cops. That's fine. But they're just going to send me to jail and they're going to send my kid to child services. Do you know what child services is like? It's rough. It's really shitty. Look, my Uncle Marty has a bad heart. And if something like that, you could have killed stop, him. Stop, stop, stop. I'm sorry. Sometimes I, I do, I make bad decisions to, to make up for some other bad decisions, and I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I just. You're a thief. Mister, 
Superheroes don't fly or look like Jesus. They drive broken down cars. They take their kids with them no matter where they go or how bad things get. And sometimes they make mistakes just like anyone else. We're sorry. Pammy, hang up the phone, would you please? My mother always said that desperation brings out the worst in people. So I think if you treat people right, you're going to have a good life. You know anything about waitressing? dishwashers I've ever seen. Did you know that? You are. I can't afford to lose you. I'm going to give you a dollar raise right here, right now. Huh? What do you say to that? Yeah, you know, you got to rewash that, though. Just just put it back in, and but it's perfectly clean, but now it has to be rewashed. Tell you what, you go get ready for, uh, for tonight's dinner shift, okay? Okay. Right. Here, kid. Uh, you know, I've always wanted a daughter like that. Not as clumsy, all right, but she... <laughs> She'll do okay. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you guys are talking about fantasy football, and it's like nobody even goes to games All right, lady, anymore. Lady, lady. Can I get a refill here? me in the back room. Does that sound like something maybe we'd want to do? I can't. I'm working. Well, maybe some other time. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Holy. Sorry. Sorry. What's happening? It's caught me. I know where. Sorry. Thanks, Pam. I'm out of here. My apologies to the lady. I will let her know. How's that retainer working out? It's great. Right. Thank yeah. you, Lee. Okay. Did you want a napkin? Lee, this is way too much. 
Good and great at Manning. Um, don't forget my cut. Yes, it's the last one. Judy at the Palace record during the Sunday morning rush. It should be pretty comfortable. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. No problem. Hey. The nice ones always end up being the biggest assholes. You don't know that. Uh, yes, I do. Trust me. It's like those, uh, those sayings, like, uh, shit happens. Or, uh, life is just one damned thing after another. Those are just, you know, really smart people wrote those. It's not like just stupid sayings would be. Well, really smart people usually end up killing themselves. It's just sort of like not finishing a book after you start it. The right ending can make the whole story fall into place. You just have to keep reading. I don't even know what you just said. Having a place to sleep allowed us to dream. better at loving men than choosing them. With every new town came a new boyfriend.
Mom was wrong about Pam. The more I got to know her, the more I realized she was just like us. She became my friend. What's your favorite color? My favorite color? Yeah. Do you know an oil? falls out of a car and is in a puddle and it's like six colors put together yeah yeah i've seen that that's my favorite color how'd you get so good at this well, i just sort of got used to building places to hide in i like the stripes yeah maybe, maybe, maybe we should do something different for each box should we put paint on our face can i paint your face absolutely not <laughs> why not <laughs> you take care of the universe universe will take care of you. This is it. This is my year. So, what do you think? It's cool. This is just for my foreign audience. I'm going to get famous in Asia and then Germany. And then after that, I'm going to conquer New York. I want to ride it where I want. place to stay and it just clicked for me you two could buy this place it's perfect it's cozy it comes fully furnished and you can get a great deal on it because it's a foreclosure what do you think ruthie i don't understand how can we afford a house we're broke well i'm getting your mom an amazing deal on a sale what what about the down payment not a dime and you have to sign some papers make the payments it's the same as paying rent except you're making money because you're investing in a house see ruthie it's a good thing what about boston boston's only a couple of hours away and Vic says there's a great high school here and we'll be saving money by investing in a house. That's right. Ruthie? Yeah, yeah. Ruthie, what do you think? I love it. If you love it. <laughs> love it, I love it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kuno ay agad sa mga takot is pwede ng basta. moved into Hanson's old rat trap. I'm Miss Frankfurt. I'm the principal. Oh, hi, I'm Ruthie Carmichael, ma'am. Well, I like your manners, Ruthie Carmichael. And tell me, what do you like about school? Um, I, I guess I like the library.
freshman? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any weed? <laughs> no. Uh, please? No. Cigarettes? Not on me. <laughs> Dyke. I mean, I will say that the coffee and donuts were a nice touch for the staff meeting. It's very kind of you, but I have to say it again that you're only in charge of the girls' choir. Uh, not the boys. We've talked about this before. Not the boys. It does not bode well with the parents. Okay. Sorry, miss. Excuse me. I, no, I know. Sorry, I was just, I was driving by. Uh, do you remember me? You happen to remember me? I'm sitting down there. Oh, yeah, you threw up on me. Well, almost. I almost threw up on you, but yeah, I, I, I wanted to say how sorry I was about that and that, uh, you know, I was a real mess then. Well, you look good. Uh, I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. I, uh, you know, it was one day at a time, and I, I just wanted to let you know how sorry I am about that. And, uh, it was very bad behavior, and I know you were just trying to do your job, so I wanted to let you know that I'm very, very sorry about that. It won't happen again, and uh, thank you for listening to me. That's it? That's it. Thank you, and you have a good night. I know that. You know what my father used to say to me when I was growing up? Hang around with shit and shit gets on you. I saw a kid with a lot of potential hanging around with shit and shit's getting on you. Is that what you want? No, Miss Frankfurt. Well, I mean, do you want to hang out with losers and get high and get drunk on my school property? Is that what you want to do? No, Miss Frankfurt. I I'm sorry. But you want to be in that crowd that does drugs? Think they're cool because they're not cool. Because I have to suspend you for three days because we have a zero tolerance policy in this school for all alcohol and drug use. Do you understand me? Yes, Miss Frankfurt. I had never been in trouble before. High school was harder than I thought. I didn't want to have to tell my mom what happened. I didn't want to disappoint her.
Don't be 
Couldn't have done it without you, truly, so thank you. Some of you know my story. Uh, not all of you do. Um, I lost my wife a little over two years ago. Uh, she was at Target, and uh, she experienced an aneurysm and, and passed away. And, uh, you know, I don't really have any family to speak of, and so it was really... Uh, It was really just me and my wife. Excuse me. But, um, sorry. It was just me and my wife. Uh, so, <clears throat> you guys uh, kind of became my family after that. And, uh, when I washed up here, I was sitting right in that chair over there, and uh, I was just very lost. And uh, you people made me feel very welcome. Okay, these cookies are really good. Do you think? What do you think? To me. How many times can I say I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Are 
Thursday. I'm trying to clean up. I wish you'd understand that. It's Thursday. I just want things to be good again. Good? Yes. You turn every good thing you touch to shit. Nobody's ever gonna want me. Ever. I'm damaged goods. You know what I mean? I feel like, oh. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? Sometimes God makes mistakes. Do you think he made a mistake with you? Seriously, don't smell. Okay. I want you to get up, go back in your trailer, put one of those fancy dresses on, and be you.
good meeting. Yeah. Get real good meeting tonight. How long have you been coming to this? I'm seven months sober now. Just got seven months. Not bad. It's a start. How, how you been doing? 18 days. That's great. I like that number. That is a great number. It's going to be different tomorrow, but yeah. congratulations. I was just driving one day and I saw the sign. And sometimes I think, like if I'm driving and I see something, I'm like, oh, I should do that. You know, I should, I should do that. And so it was like a sign. And it was a real sign, you know, it was like a, it was a sign and then a real sign. Yeah. And then I, I started coming. Yeah, it seemed good. I'm trying to be better, you know. Well, so you're still pretty new, huh? It's if, I'd ask you to go get, get some coffee or something if you'd been in here a little longer. Oh. Well, yeah, I'd love to grab a coffee. You'd like to go get coffee yeah. with me? Sure. Well, yeah, if you want to get coffee, I'll get coffee. <laughs> yeah. See something. Okay. Three. Seven. Twelve. Twenty-two. <laughs> this ain't shit. When are times gonna change? I don't know. Yeah, you keep it. Are you from Iowa? Yeah, from Council of Bluffs. What do you like to do besides the people? Oh! Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one again! Way to go. Okay. Ooh, you're good. You look good. Miss Pooh, you. <laughs> you got a great smile. <laughs> okay. You know, I could fix your first premolar for you. I'm a dentist. Embarrassing. It's fine. You can't. You can hardly see it except when you're laughing. Well, it has been a while since I've laughed. Maybe I can fix that for you too. You know, Dennis. Best in town. No. Way. Top ten in town. Yeah. I mean, look at these pearly whites. Are all those real? Yeah. Come on, show me. I'll give you a free dental exam. Open your mouth. Come on, I can help you. Why does everybody hate going to the dentist? We do so much good. You can't hate clean, healthy teeth. That's the foundation for a good life. Come on. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> what did you say? Okay, now, genetically, hold on. You got perfect teeth, but you're going to need a root canal and a serious cleaning. Mm -hmm. ah. Hey. a new tooth. When's the last time you saw a dentist? I think he was oh, a baby, I think. It's okay. I'm going to get you fixed up. Be nice. garage. Isn't that beautiful? People don't even have garages here. You will have a garage. Why do some people get away with everything while other people have to suffer for it all the time? It'll be okay, Ruthie. It's okay. Sometimes life isn't fair, but 
We are dealt the cards that we know how to deal with. Losing our house, our real estate assholes get rich, and there's nothing we can do. to be Something sexy on. I'm taking you out. What? Huh? Hmm? Let's come on. You know, I called you when I was sick. Yeah, come on. I was busy. Busy doing what, huh? Busy? Yeah. Okay. I'm losing my house because of you. I can take care of that. How? How are you going to take care of that then, huh? How are you going to do it? Tell me. I'd like to know. The fucking music going to help. What are you going to do, huh? You owe me. No, no, you shit. You signed those papers yourself. You told me to. What are you, two years old? You told me to. All right, relax. All right, calm down. Listen, you make your own decisions, all right? No, you can't do that. You, 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 you can't just turn shit around. It's not fair. That's what people like you do. All right. You get out of here, you motherfucker. All right, all right. And don't come back. Crazy. I like helping you. I don't need your help. It's fine. What's wrong? Hey, look at me. can help.
I'm going to do it. I can't do it too early. One days ago, I got up and I decided to call you guys, and I'm so grateful I did. I feel so blessed. 81 days today, I am free. to come stay with me, okay? Or we could stay here all night. Get the door. 
Yeah, the house is originally from 1926. It's a, got just kind of a frame, but um, yeah, it's my record collection. Got all different kinds of music, and feel uh, free looking through that. And this is the bedroom right here, and the bathroom, and this is the kitchen. I'll just set this down. There's the backyard. Oh, Lucy, there's a pool. Yeah, we can't swim. I'll show you guys the upstairs. I I can't wait to jump. Yeah, in. got a lot of this stuff from my grandparents. I guess that's kind of obvious, but uh, yeah, feel free to change anything. Cause you know I don't. So Ruthie, I I thought this could be your room. I got most of my stuff out of it, and uh, you know you can repaint it or whatever you whatever you feel like. I'll I'll go finish getting stuff out of the car. Now make yourself at home. Oh, hey, you, you need something, Ruthie? Uh, sorry. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I just, I got some of the stuff I didn't clean out of there. I just got a bunch of old stuff in there. <laughs> play chat? Yeah, a little bit. You play? Yeah, I mean, what I like about chess is you can learn as you go along. You can't win just by only making forward moves. Sometimes you have to take a step back or even lose a few pieces to move forward. You, I think you just have to be patient. You know, that's what they say about it. Okay, you can have the first move. Hey, Ruthie. Hi. Breakfast of Champions? Thank you. It's a book okay. uh, I like both. Thank you. 
just got to trust me about that. You know, she's at that age where, you know, she's feeling kind of independent. She's never done this before. She's never run away never this before. Away. This is not Ruthie. Right, but that's, she's 15 now, so she's going to start doing stuff like this. It's totally normal. You did it, right? And I did it. Come on. It's what kids do. I promise. Come here. Come here, give me a hug. Sometimes I just screw up, Ruthie. You know, I've never tried to be a good mom. I've always tried, but I never really knew what I was doing. And when you were little, it was just, it was a lot easier because if you fell, you know, I knew how to fix it. Like I could just like make your boo-boo better. And, and now I don't, I don't always know what to do.
Thank mm-hmm. you.